Hey guys, this is Matt with 4Hydroponics.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the LEC 315 and the LEC 630 ceramic metal halide light fixtures. So first up, we'll look at the 315. The 315 ceramic metal halide has a vertical mounted bulb. Um, the metal halide bulb itself, the ceramic metal halide bulb itself, is uh, going to be a little bit cooler to the touch. They're traditionally run about 10 to 20% more efficiently than a traditional metal halide light. So you're going to get a little bit of extra output already from that. Um, because the bulb is mounted vertically in this one, it gives you a little bit higher PAR output than you would usually get with a 300 watt bulb. So it makes it go a little bit further. It does have the German stamped aluminum on the inside, so it's extremely reflective. They both come with some really cool low frequency square wave ballast technology, which is really cool. Check it out. If you don't know about square wave technology, definitely look into it. It's going to give you a cleaner light, which is going to give you an overall better output, better quality light to your plants. Um, the spectrum that comes with these ceramic metal halide bulbs is very unique to the industry. It gives off a white light, which means it also dips below the blue spectrum and all the way above the red spectrum to give you a completely full spectrum like nobody else is really doing on the market. Um, we're trying to replicate sunlight and this is probably about as close as you can get right now um, in this style of lighting. So when the 315 has been uh, doing so well that people are comparing it to a 600 watt fixture. So if you're looking for something that gives you a lot of output for a little bit less power, it's something that you really might want to look into. Once again, the ballast is built in so you don't have to have anything external, just that one light. It runs relatively cool and uh, it's a great little tester light for a tester room or something like that. The 630 or the big guy here, you can see the lights are horizontally mounted inside this fixture, it's not uh, vertically. Now the bulbs when you buy them are specific to how they're mounted, so make sure if you're replacing any of these bulbs, you get the vertical for the 315 and the horizontal for the uh, 630. They also come in 120 or 240 power, so you want to make sure you get the correct power for the power supply that you're using. The 630 is being compared to a thousand watt light, obviously pulling a little bit, le uh, a little bit less than half electricity. Uh, sorry, a little bit more than uh, half the electricity, which is awesome, and uh, producing some really good quality and some really good yields. Um, Built-in ballast is really cool, not a lot of extra cords, a lot of extra stuff hanging around. Um, once again, we don't want to glass these or air cool these that will take away from our extra UV rays that we're getting. These things produce a ton of UV, so you do want to be uh, cautious of that when you're working underneath them. If you start getting fatigued in your eyes or your skin starts burning, you might want to just turn them off while you're working underneath them because they produce a ton of UV. That UV though, the plants are not going to argue about. They produce a lot more resin, a lot more oil, how higher turp profile, uh, more aroma, more taste, all that good stuff. Um, these are great lights. They're making a big splash in the industry at the moment. If you're looking for a new technology to try out, I would really highly recommend one of these two lights for a tester. Uh, available on our website for a really good price. I hope this video got you guys pumped about ceramic metal halide lighting, and we'll check you out next time.